I got banned by Nicholas Spotlight, but look at his face. He's so fucking happy about this. Let's see what happened. So I was just suspended. For no! This channel is temporarily unavailable due to a violation of Twitch's community guidelines. Good news is, now if this was like a community strike on YouTube, this is actually a problem. But luckily, Twitch, you've seen how many of those booby streamers get banned and unbanned in an instant, right? It, it, the Twitch bans don't really mean shit, so I'm sure he'll be back like next week. Or terms of service. I got an email. Twitch mm. is committed to keeping our community safe for everyone. <laughs> Sexual content. What was bro watching? Okay, it's a, it's a seven day ban. It's a seven day ban. <laughs> Everybody except kids, apparently. We're just trying to keep um, child predators safe. And as a part of that. Mm, did you just hear that? I think he's alluding to the new type of Twitch meta that's happening with a lot of OnlyFans, you know, a lot of uh, sex workers that's streaming on Twitch with their fucking titty just hanging. I mean, hey, you've seen me watch Asian Bunny X live on stream. I mean, I'm guilty. I'm guilty of that as well. We require, we require all users to ensure that anything shared on their account abides by Twitch's terms of service and community guidelines. What was Based bro watching? Ac uh, activity or content. I can't even talk because I'm so like fucking emotional right now. We have issued a community guideline strike on your account. As a result, your access to Twitch services is temporarily restricted. Incurring multiple violations may result in a permanent suspension. Sexual content. Damn. Yeah, because yesterday... Um, yeah, what'd you watch? I, it, this isn't even about yesterday's stream. Yesterday, we watched like a clip or we watched an episode of Redo of Healers. <laughs> I didn't get banned yesterday. Bro, what? Redo of Healers. And, and, uh, I, I mean, to be fair... To be fair, Redo of Healer, if you look at the reactions on YouTube, they're still up here. And like, straight up, like there are like some some reactions, they even have the nipples showing at certain time. Because there is not just an implied sex scene, there is an explicit sex scene that happens. Like, Booty's cheeks are getting clapped. But like, obviously, on tw if, if you stream on Twitch and you show that stuff, like I could kind of see... It goes against the community guidelines, which is also scary for me because we're watching High School DXT right now. <laughs> Thankfully, we're on season four and we're about to end it. And there isn't, there is no explicit like sexual intercourse that happens, right? It's just more boobies, nips up here and there. But good to know, like what the fuck? Today we were watching. Um, I want to eat your pancreas because that. Bro, what? I think this is a movie, right? I want to eat your pancreas is such a ridiculous title that I remember being so shocked from it. I think this is a, is this a movie? That's so sexual, but I know what you're saying, right? Like you're not supposed to be watching anime on stream and stuff. That's not the reason I was banned. If that was the reason, movie, I wouldn't yeah. be able to defend that. I'd still defend it, but that's not the reason I was banned. It was for sexual content. Seven days, right? On a stream or a VOD. Well, the stream. I'm 100%. It's the redo of Healer episode, right? It's not even up for redo of Healer. The VOD got eliminated or deleted immediately. People could have clipped it. Like, hate watchers could have been watching and they could have clipped it and reported it. Or Twitch staff during the live, they can. I don't. It's high. It's highly. No, if it was during live, his, his stream would have been struck down at that time. His, he would have been banned live. Or just because you delete or unpublish publish your content. It doesn't mean that the Twitch admins can't see your content. Obviously, the viewers can't see it, but if it's still public, unpublished and you saved it, they can still, I'm pretty sure they can still access it. And even if you deleted it, it doesn't mean it's actually gone, right? If, like, back, if, you, if you do software development, or you understand like back-end technology, like, it doesn't just disappear like that. There could be backups on the side, but it's most likely redo of Healer, right? But let's take a look, right? Let's take a look on Twitch. This is my account. I'm not even... He's about to show a bunch of booby streamers to illustrate the fact that it's unfair that he got banned for watching Redo of Healer when there's about 20 girls that we're about to see with their titties shaking with a bunch of kids in the platform. Here we in. go. Here we go. Are so you ready? It's showing stuff I watch. I'm not even logged in. Let's go to Twitch. Asian right? Bunny X. Let's go to browse. Where's my right, girl Asian Bunny X at? Category. Just chatting. Let's see. Right away. <laughs> Asian Bunny see? X. How the fuck is this allowed? But what I watch isn't. Yo, this girl, Dan Dangler, bro, her clips are fucking crazy. Like, I'm sure you guys kind of know what I'm talking about. Y'all seen... She basically takes dabs on... I mean, you can see her right now. This is a fucking dab rig. She's taking a fucking fad dab hit, and she does the fucking Ahegao pose. That's her thing right now, and it's kind of blowing up. Double fucking standards. Is it because I'm a man? Mm. Is it because I can't sleep with the staff? Look Not double standards because Boogie... You remember Boogie? You, you guys know this guy?
I, I'm, I'm about to traumatize you. Boogie banned on Twitch. Yeah. His whole ball sack was out, bro. <laughs> so no, not not double standards. All right. Our queen, Amaran. <laughs> well, I'm not watching an ad and giving her fucking money. More money Jeez. than she has to grip for. We have other girls, 18 plus. It's Christmas, guys. Uh -huh. Merry Christmas with her oiled up titties out. Her, she's yep. showing her ass and her feet. Uh-huh, yeah. Her sucking on a fucking straw. No, that's a fucking dab rig, bro, Nick. Like, you, this is even crazier. She is taking a fucking dab hit on, like, stream in front of kids. Like, I... Like, I, I think you can drink alcohol on stream, right? It's not a bad thing. But, like, look, look, look. I am not a weed hater, okay? I am a weed enjoyer. But there's a line that you shouldn't cross. And, like, if you're just straight up naked and just taking dab hits in front of kids, I don't know, man. I, I don't know about that. This, this girl just, just showing her workouts, just showing what she's been working out. This girl just showing her titties. Uh -huh. Nobody's going to these streams to talk to them. They're just looking to act like they care. And now I'm going to call it Nicholas Light's hypocrisy right here because right below this girl, there exists two Japanese sumo wrestlers with their titties out on this place. Nipples, everything. Look at their But I know what he's trying to say. Up, right? I know what he's trying to let's say. Let's go. Let's look. Let's look at her. <laughs> oh, God. Merry there she is. Intended for certain Merry audiences. Christmas, well, Dan. I'm sorry, to say it. I'm sorry to hit you with the cold hard truth. This is actually crazy because I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this, but this girl used to be a content creator that used to stream, I believe, COD, Modern Warfare or something. And she used to like grind every day. She was not a booby streamer. She was a gamer. But then she realized that, huh, other girls are doing a little bit more skate things. You see Amaranth, you see Indie Fox, you know, doing all kind of crazy shit. Their OnlyFans numbers are going up. So she decided. You know what, instead of putting in so much effort and doing all this gaming shit, why don't I just fucking just do a little bit of what they do? And she started getting a lot of fucking views because obviously sex sells, right? So I don't blame her for going after that hustle. I don't blame any of the sex workers here, actually, showing their titties on Twitch. This is all on Twitch. It's those dumbasses that are making these stupid, like, flimsy rules that are so flexible that leads to bullshit like this happening. Don't blame the fucking players. Hate the game. Truth. But, um, your audience is... <laughs> I do like it when the armpits come up, though. Actually younger than... Yeah. Wow. This is great content. Younger than 18 years old. All of these fucking... 100%. Simp, idiotic yep. incels yep. in the comments, in her chat right now, are all watching her, and they're all underage. Remember, guys, these, these streams are one-handed streams. One for, you know, I don't know, controlling the mouse, and the other, I'm sure you can imagine. Look what it says on the top left corner. Type, Type exclamation. Ah, I, uh, I think this is for like, you know, her like OnlyFans and other shit. I mean, it's true. <laughs> I mean, it's true. says <laughs> Type exclamation S in chat. DanDangler.com. Nasty adult stuff. I mean, gee, I wonder what that's going to be. S in chat. DanDangler.com. Nasty <laughs> adult stuff. Promoting her porn. Yep. Promoting her naked yep. content. That's what she's doing. Uncensored content. Yep. This is basically uncensored right now. This is fucking allowed. This is I mean, technically, with five technically sh they, uh, they're all wearing like a little tube top or pasty. They're not actually naked, right? That's actually fucking dangerous. But I know what Nick is trying to say. 5,000 viewers. How many followers does she have? How many followers? A lot. 591,000. Mm -hmm. That means she's been around for a long time doing this. Very this long time. Well, not just the sex work stuff, but like, you know, she's the gaming content. Too. It's an old for her. Why? Because she's a blonde? Because she's a woman? Because I don't have titties to show for this. No, it's just Twitch. It's just Twitch's bullshit platform rules that they don't even know how to enforce. And now they're just like, like, here's what happened. These girls are able to get away with it because of the new changes that Twitch themselves introduced. You're allowed to skirt the lines of NSFW content. That's totally fine. But what Nicholas Light got banned for was watching a redo of Healer. Nowhere on Twitch guidelines does it say that you can show like explicit. It's not hentai, but I have seen scenes of redo of healer episode one and from what i've seen from cj the champ video there's a girl her nipples are fucking just shaking up and down and she's getting fucking booty cheeks clapped in front of a fireplace and i'm pretty sure there's like a burning tongue too that's implied to be inserted like that kind of shit i don't think twitch is gonna be like hmm yeah that's totally fine so this is where the inconsistency of how these girls are allowed to stream this shit but nicholas like gets banned for watching anime comes into but obviously i'm sure nick understands that he's just making what happened into content which is exactly what i'd be doing too staff because the staff's not watching me they get no enjoyment out of me <laughs> wait 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 doesn't he have an OnlyFans?
Straight up. Didn't someone mention that Nicholas Light has an OnlyFans? Hold up, we gotta get those Twitch. Nicholas Light just needs to plug his OnlyFans too, bro. And he's gotta have a fucking, like a, like a crotch cam, you know? I think a bunch of dudes needs to start doing a bulge cam. These girls are getting over with these fucking topless streams. Sooner or later, there's gonna be some femboy that puts on fucking strap-on titties, goes on like this, or a bunch of dudes that's gonna have a different cam right below that's gonna be a fucking bulge, like, cock cam. You're not gonna see it, but you can see the pack in there, man. The loudest. This is allowed. My content was even marketed, not even marketed, but it was marked mm. for like may include sexual content whenever I show content that may be sexual, like sexual hentai or anime or whatever. I Man, come, come on. The booty cheeks are getting clapped, Nick. Come on. I even had a marked, but this is allowed. This yes. stays on the stream. This yes. Because, again, of Twitch's bullshit fucking laws that they don't even know how to enforce properly. Girl is literally selling her body, her titties, her naked yes. content to yes. children. This is all children. Yeah. You cannot tell me these aren't children. Yeah, like, they are hey, kids. Uh, you don't know that. Oh, I fucking know that. I know that. Pathetic. This is a pathetic website, and I get banned for a week for that. Fuck that. Are you serious? I, this is ridiculous. It's honestly ridiculous. You just go on the website. This is what's taken over, man. Like, it's really ridiculous. This girl's sleeping in her bed for all the fucking... <laughs> this girl's got... She's just twerking right here. No, I'm pretty sure this... There's a stream that literally just plays twerk clips. The stream is literally just a person playing all these different compilations of twerking. Teenagers to, to wank off to. You have this girl showing her feet and her ass. Wow. Captivating. I want to know about her. I want to know all about her life. <laughs> Me too. I want to know who she is. I, 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 she looks like a nice woman, guys. I want to be her friend. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Get out of here. She even has her chat off. Based. <laughs> she doesn't need a chat. Chat off, jerk off. Am I right? <laughs> She's literally just fucking hanging out on her phone. Stream is on, and she's just doing her thing. Who knows what she's doing, bro? Maybe she's playing some fucking mobile game. Maybe she's watching anime on her phone. I don't know. But this girl literally just goes live, ignores chat, just has herself in this angle, and just fucking makes a killing. You know what? Like, why wouldn't she do this? Think about it. If you're a girl, if you're someone that was able to do this, and Twitch is allowing you to do this, you'd be stupid not to take advantage of it. Straight up. At the end of the day, it, it's, it's just, again... Don't blame the players. Like, blame the game. Terrible. This is terrible. This is actually terrible. This website is terrible, man. Look, <laughs> let, let's see. Any hey, again! He's skipping the sumo wrestler here, man! I'm telling you, them sumo titties are all out here! ...that are just like... Look, this is nice. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, wait. Ooh, this ooh looks collab! Awesome. Wow. Damn. Holy a lot of wow. personality. Good a lot of personality on stream. This is totally right, right? Intended for certain audiences. Intended for children. Just say it. Just say it. Why is this allowed? Why is this allowed? What's this double standard? Why are God? Why is it allowed? Numbers. Money. This is bringing Twitch a lot of views. In a current era where Twitch is losing its competitive market share to different uh, platforms for live streaming, such as Kick, such as even to an extent Rumble, even though Rumble's a meme. Twitch is losing a lot of market share. For the longest time, they were the mono they had the monopoly on live streaming platform. It was the live streaming platform. But eventually, there's a bunch of bullshit that happens along with you know a new like the Amazon takes over. People start to kind of lose touch with what Twitch used to be, which used to be back in the day just for gamers, right? Just in TV and all that. There was a different culture back in the day. But ever since they swapped over the Amazon, you know, um, questionable decision making that it's purely based off profiting, right? Increase more ads and all this different bullshit that led to viewer satisfaction going down and then there was a whole gambling apocalypse that happened i think around last last year right all of that led to different competitors like kick showing up and suddenly a bunch of people are saying twitch is not the place to be why don't we just fucking stream to youtube why don't we just stream to fucking you know tiktok too like um kick rumble so twitch on top of all this shit is in danger right now and they're thinking to themselves shit we're already losing money and now we're losing the relevancy that we used to have then Asian Bunny X shows out of fucking nowhere. And no, I don't believe that Morg Pie did it. I no, no, Asian Bunny X started this meta. Then fucking Dexero made a fucking article about how it was Morg Pie that started the meta. Asian X Bunny actually got fucking ripped off. Anyways, she comes into the game, changes a bunch of shit. Now Twitch is like, fuck, what do we do here? We're already in the gutters. Should we at this point 
decide to be even more assholes and piss off a bunch more people, which will force more people to go to different platforms? Or shall we just let it happen? Shall we just make this chatterbait 2.0? And that's what Twitch is doing. They realize at a certain point, I don't give a fuck about double standards. None of that shit matters. None of you matter. We care as a company. We care about maximizing profits, maximizing revenue for the stakeholders. And if, and if having a bunch of booby streamers to attract a bunch of young audiences onto Twitch is their strategy, it is what it is. I'm not justifying that this is a good thing. I'm just saying from a business like perspective on why Twitch is allowing this, this is exactly why they're allowing this. Eyes being banned and suspended immediately for censored bars. You saw the whole tech tone thing, but Nick, he was janking. No, he wasn't. <laughs> he was tech tone also did it right. Tech tone was fucking. He had boxers on. He was like having like a emotion, like he was fucking wanking up. But there was black bars there. Why are other women allowed to do that and they don't get banned? Or maybe it takes a while. They get banned. They get unbanned. Banned and unbanned. Look at Asian Bunny for mm -hmm. example. Asian Look Bunny X. Bitch. Morg Pie. And I don't call women bitches. I'm calling them bitches because that's what they are. I mean, say what you will, but personally, I'm a big fan of Asian Bunny X. I think that she's an entrepreneur, an innovator, someone that pioneered this meta. But I do agree with Nicholas Light. It is kind of a bunch of bullshit, especially how Twitch just like bans them and instantly unbans them the next day. You know what this is? This isn't them trying to punish them. This is because there's a bunch of different articles and a bunch of tweets and a bunch of eyes, public eyes are on Twi Twitch right now. And they're saying, why the fuck are these girls get allowed to get away with this? This girl is straight up just giving a fucking body massage on Twitch. Like, how is this fair? So Twitch is like, you know what? This is a bit too much. We're going to ban him. But not with the intent of permanently banning them, getting them off the platform. No, 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 no. We're here to ban and then unban so that you will think that we did something. It's all just public relations stunt. It's just aesthetics. Ridiculous. This isn't right, man. This isn't right. Like, l l let's find one person on the Just Chatting page that isn't selling their bodies to children. Let's see. I mean, look at the first one. Top left. There's a guy there, you know, 885 views. He's killing it. There's Neurosama as well. You know VTubers there. Let's see. Who's this? I hey, it's a girl. It's, it's not nice. showing a booba. Wearing a sweater. Yeah. Nice decorated background. Talking to her chat, not selling her titties to kids, to children. She's doing this right. This looks like a nice, wholesome streamer. That's how I don't know if I, like, Nicholas Light seems to really hate these titty streamers. And I totally understand the sentiment. But, like, again, I don't really blame these booby streamers for doing what they do. Because if I was a girl, and if I was in this situation, and if I saw that this is an easy way to money, easy path to success, I'd probably do it too. Now, that says a lot about my character. But at the end of the day, money is money. Like, you can say it's shameful, you can say that, you know, have some fucking respect for yourself, but at the end of the day, like, respect? Respect? Dignity? All that shit goes out the window when one stream, you do the booby stream, and you've made more than an average minimum wage worker working, like, a fucking six months. That girl just collected that paycheck within one stream because she did the booby stream, so it's like, it, 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 there's no incentive for these girls not to do it. That's how it should be, right? Unbelievable, man. What the fuck is this? Like, Korea. Oh See, Korea is so smart. They, 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 okay, the booby streams, it's not pioneered on Twitch. This shit has been happening in Korea on Africa TV a long time ago. And they're so smart that they decided, you know what? Instead of one girl in the middle, we're going to have fucking three separate ones. More fucking dopamine. Instead of two booba on stream, you got six booba. Very smart. Come on already. And I'm not a sexist. Don't give me that garbage. They know exactly what they're doing. Oh, absolutely. Look at this. Look at the strategically staged. Look at this. The Calvin Klein panties are fucking strung up like fucking Shimakaze from like, what, what's that? A zero lane or whatever show. But then you still have the, the sweatpants that are just hanging right there. So now you see these hips just peeking out. This is what I'm talking about, Korean optimization. Even for Coomer content, Koreans will figure out a way to optimize a metagame. This girl is fucking weaponizing her hips right here. Do you see the flesh peeking out right here, right over here? You know what that's saying in anime? The upper portion of the thigh between the skirts and the thigh high, the upper region, I believe it's called the perfect zone or some kind of like zoneless, I forget the exact terminology, but you know what I'm saying? This is pretty much that. It's really smart. Shit, man! Are you serious? Oh yeah. <laughs> they know exactly what they're uh -huh. doing. Uh huh. Uh huh. You're sexist. Uh, they're just wearing clothes. No, they're selling their bodies to children, bro. That's how they make a living. Yeah.
but this is endorsed. This is uh, promoted. Yeah, because Twitch doesn't give a fuck. Twitch doesn't care about kids. Twitch only cares about being relevant, staying on top, and making money. And a bunch of booba streamers doing this is bringing a lot of new audience to Twitch. Is, like, come on. I, I was watching a video of Osmond Gold saying, all mm -hmm. you should do... What the fuck does that say on the top? Wait a minute. Meat is a... Meat is a bit hard. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, that's actually kind of crazy. That's <laughs> This is, I think, implying that you beat your meat a little bit too hard. So you're a little sore right now, aren't you? A bit hard. That's crazy. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> uh, like Osmongold was saying, just have yeah. a box that says hide adult content. And yes. It should be defaulted. Yes. I think the perfect solution is have a checkbox that says, do you want the R-rated version of Twitch or not? You just click that, then all the booba streamers either turn on or turn off. It's that simple. Or better yet, just fucking make an OnlyFans 2.0 Twitch. Just make a separate website, which is specifically for booba streamers. And I think that would kill it. Does it take that much to do it? For Twitch, yeah. Because they're a small company, right? Small indie company. I know it's a load of bullshit, but goddamn. Any sort of these changes, it's... I think um, a lot of it comes down to um, decisions that cannot be made so quickly in a big organization like Twitch or Amazon. The bigger a company gets, the more time it takes for different um, decisions to be made because it needs to go to like this person and this person needs to prove it and it goes to get this person and their boss needs to see it. It's a fucking chain of bullshit hierarchy that needs to be like escalate that's why bigger companies take a long time for any kind of decisions to be made but smaller companies their advantage like startups is their velocity they can just immediately enact that's the benefit if you care about stuff like that unbelievable man how many times am i gonna say unbelievable Jesus Christ, on Christmas too. On, on Christmas, Christmas on God. Doing. No, because it's Christmas, that's what they're doing. Because on Christmas, do you know what the loneliest time of the year is? It's during holidays, Christmas time. Not everybody has the privilege of hanging out with their family. There's a lot of lonely people, especially in the Christmas times, that they're reminded that they're even more lonelier. So you know what these girls are doing? They are fucking ahead of the game they realize there's a bunch of lonely motherfuckers on christmas time so i'm gonna go there and show my booba on christmas time to increase the fucking profits this girl's doing this on christmas yes Get intentionally family they don't have a family that's the whole reason i have to stop saying unbelievable wow look at this captivating content. Mm. Wow. this is what i'm talking about this stream is only the like, compilations of different twerking that's it that's all the stream is just showing tiktoks yeah of fatherless girls. yeah great Beautiful. Amazing. Amazing. I don't see a guy jerking it. I don't see any of that. Well, well, like, I'm just waiting for, again, one person to... Well, something like what Tectone did, but some dude just fucking, like, moving their fucking, like... <laughs> just doing shit like that to imply that they're doing something. But, again, there's obviously going to be a bigger audience for... Like, there's a lot more straight people than there are a lot of gay people or even girl peep girls that like a bunch of dudes like wanking their content like I'll you know see that. there's a jesus even jesus is live streaming ai I jesus will be banned jesus and religion will be banned before um e thoughts are banned there's also ai santa i saw that religion not everybody believes in christianity the fuck out of here get out get out look at this wow a lot of feet there this is a wow. toe stream toe She's and thighs nice. let's show let's show our feet our thighs and mm -hmm. everything but no this is a nice wholesome christmas stream guys yeah anyways do i even have to like beat a dead horse at this point that these people are beating themselves to this stuff like no because we still have more content left you're still gonna talk about it let's get going do we even have to beat this shit man keep going wow. keep going this girl has been doing this for two days i literally went on her account two days ago it's okay. her just standing there with her titties out not even talk if you look at her glasses i'm sorry if you I'm sh cause so some girls do this like even like um here's a fun fact you know Mr. Mr. Beast he did a counting stream uh, counting content right some like he did a video where he counts like a one million but he just stands there so he decided that this all happened because he wanted to watch anime but wa but make money at the same time so Mr. Beast on his counting stream he literally watched Naruto but he would start counting. And then made that a video, which is hilarious because now we're doing actual anime reactions and, you know, we're making money off of, let's, let's say, watching Naruto or whatever. Anyways, the point here is this girl right now, she's not doing nothing. She literally has stream on, but she's probably like watching a show, playing them a different game. She's just living her life right now while having stream on the background just for her titties. It's actually fucking genius, man. Talking. 
but this is allowed. Yeah. Even if it's 22 viewers. Hi, yes. looking for the one for me. She's literally <laughs> selling. Hi, ooh, 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 looking for the one for me. Follow me, rerun 18 plus. Rerun implies that actually she could be not even live right now. She's just playing a record, like a re record, like a recorded session of this, which is even smarter in my opinion. On her stream, she's a prostitute. But yeah. This is allowed. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. <laughs> Hit the ad. You gonna watch this ad? Unbelievable, man. And this sucks. It's like if you're all about feminism, you're all uh. about like pushing women. Mm. You should be against this shit. Because now, if you're all about feminism, you should be against this shit is a complicated topic. I do see what he's saying, but a lot of the talking points that I hear about girls doing this is the fact that this is kind of empowering because women are now able to kind of use their sex appeal to monetize themselves. Before, a lot of guys would just kind of like, you know, objectify women. And that's pretty much all this stems from. Guys only see women as objects of desires. They are things that they can only have sex with, and that's pretty much it, right? This delusion is what feeds this fantasy. And a bunch of, a bunch of girls taking advantage of the fact that a bunch of guys will only see them this way, and then being able to monetize it. Honestly, in my opinion, that is empowering. Now, you are obviously showing your full-blown asshole to a bunch of strangers online. Now, can you say that someone that's empowered has... Can you, can you truly say that this person has dignity and respect for themselves? That's a different topic. But again, at the end of the day, I do understand what he's saying. And a bunch of girls doing this, monetizing their sex appeal, that's pretty much born from this culture of misogyny and seeing women only as object of desire... I don't blame them. And honestly, if I were them, I'd probably do the same thing. Because again, money is money. I, like this shit is paying their bills like crazy. And if it's an easy way to get the money, like again, don't hate the player. Hate the game. Because this makes it hard for women that actually have talent, like mm. my girl, that mm. will come on stream with like a long t-shirt on. And This is actually a very good point. Now that there's a bunch of girls that realize that it's so easy to get views and grow by just showing their titties, what about the other girls that honestly want to try without their boobs as their only personality? Girls that actually want to, you know, show off their personality other than their physical appearance. This is a very good talking point, actually. And she's doing her art. This makes yeah. it harder for them. This takes true. away the viewers from them and gives it to these talentless motherfuckers, bro. This is true. Be mad. As a woman, you should be mad. All right, here's a guy doing it. All right, here's a guy taking it off his shirt. I don't All know right, what he's it. doing. I don't know why he's doing that. But I don't know who's watching that shit, man. Like, this makes it hard for them. Like, does my girl, when she streams, does she have to do this? Does she have to do this to get viewers? Are you fucking I mean, serious? I mean, it's helping. You should be against this. This should be heavily against. Like, I don't give a f Well, it's like, are you really going to say, hey, let's unionize and go against booba streamers for so that, you know, uh, girls that don't want their titties as their only personality can grow? No, everyone's out for themselves, right? Everybody is just hustling for their own self-interest. And if they see that showing titties gets you fucking popping off, then, hey, you kind of signed the, you kind of signed the contract with the devil. The fuck? what movement you're for if you believe somebody is sexist for this but this isn't right this isn't right at all this is again personally i have no issues with a bunch of coomer content because i am a coomer myself but nicholas actually brings up a very good point and it's like you know like aside from the empowering thing that we've already talked about like the topic of let's say his girlfriend not being able to grow as fast as other creators that are using their boobas for content here's what i say about that i think um a lot of people First of all, uh, uh, most people that go to these streams or like this, you know, this kind of content, this booby streamers, they are pretty much there for the titties. And if they will fall off out of relevancy really quick because they don't have any established connection with their, with their, with, with, as, with the content creator, because you're there for the titties. Like you guys are here not because of my titties. You guys are here because you enjoy whatever personality that I have. So the booba streamers can't really establish that. So they fall out of relevance real quick. So that's kind of like a, I don't know, double-edged sword. What, compare that to a girl that's, let's say, focused on art and focused on her personality shining through. They will be always relevant as long as they continue to make that content because they built up a foundation that is, I guess, organic and not just stemming from their titties. And another topic is the fact that if, because Twitch is a zero-sum game. If you're watching one stream, you're not going to be watching another. Like, yeah, you could watch different streams at the same time, but you know what I'm talking about. Once you click onto a stream, you're kind of locked into it until you watch another one. 
And the fact that his girlfriend is not able to grow because other people are watching booba streams, that is a valid point. But as Mingold also mentioned this, the people that would watch the booba content creators, those audience probably wouldn't have watched you from the first place because they are just horny viewers. They're not here for your art from the beginning. So Nicholas Light's you know, idea that his girlfriend's viewers are being stolen by other content creators just doing this shit, it is valid in the sense that obviously the bigger you are, the more you'll be pushed to the front page, right? If you have less viewers, obviously you're not going to be shown, you're going to be at the bottom. But at the same time, you have to understand those viewers would probably not have clicked into our stream because they were there for the Coomer content, if, if you know what I'm saying. Now your girl has to dress to get viewership. Oh my goodness. Look at that whale tail. Gentlemen, did you see that? Oh my goodness. To get viewers. Go, my go. <laughs> these Korean streamers, man. These Korean booba streamers, man. They're just something else. Look at this, bro. Oh my goodness. They have perfectly optimized how to fucking show their cheeks, man. Unfucking believable, man. Unbelievable. But yeah, guys, that's all I want to talk about. All right. I was uh, suspended for a week. I'm going to be streaming on YouTube for this week. And who knows? It might be better. But I'm not going to be watching anime or whatever. I wasn't mm. banned for watching anime. I wasn't banned. For he was banned for watching Redo of Healer, right? For that. It was for sexual content. Yes. For watching a scene and Redo of Healer. I mean... We all know what that scene is, right? It's the fucking, if it's episode one, it's in front of fireplace, and it's the girl getting her booty cheeks clapped, while the main character also has a fucking burning tongue that he's about to fucking shove in her, right? Where a maid comes in and drops off, and then you, whatever. Okay. That's supposedly what people are saying I'm banned for, all but right. that was yesterday's stream. That stream is gone. Well, again, it's again just because it's gone or unpublished doesn't mean that it's completely gone. Like Twitch can still see, you know, deleted or archive, you know, vods. Today I was just watching a wholesome movie. I uh, I want to eat your pancreas is not the reason that he got banned. Again, it's all because of the redo healer content that he did unpublished and he deleted. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that it's just gone. Like Twitch can still access it. Right. But you are watching a movie. That's not what I was banned for. I've been watching anime for for fucking a year now, almost. Never got never got bothered for that. Unbelievable, man. This is so... The final unbelievable, annoying, I think. So frustrating. And it, it, it's like, when mm. is this going to stop, bro? It's not. It's when not going to stop. stop? Like, Straight up, it won't. Are, is this website so willing to support predators? Because money. It's just money at the end of the day. They don't give a fuck about protecting the kids. None of that shit matters. They will throw their kids into the fucking, I don't know, factory if that means more money. That's all it is. They're literally predators. How, like, what do you call an adult selling their body to children? Like, well, I don't want to answer that. Come on now. They know who their audience is. Yeah, there's some like 30 year olds of people of age, but what does it mostly consist of on a Bunch website of horny kids. that used to be about gaming? It's a bunch of 14-year-old kids that's horny and they saw that this is pretty much light porn, right? What people spend most of their time on. Adults are mostly working and shit. <laughs> the kids are at home right hilarious. now. It's break. Shh. Whatever, man. Whatever. This isn't going to end. It's just going to be promoted. Yep. It's never going to end. Yep. And, um, yeah. This website's fucking doomed. And I feel like the only way... Doomed as in the Twitch will... I don't know. I feel like doomed as in Twitch will disappear because they're not making money. No, I think the Boomer streamer will carry that. Doomed as in the identity of this website. Like, is it for gaming? Is it for... What is it? Is it just fucking chatterbait? I don't know. To um, succeed is to either sleep with a staff member, which I bet most of these people are, or it's just to be a woman with, with titties. That's it. That's it. And the people that actually have talent... And the people that are actually entertaining, mm. I like to think I'm entertaining. We're suspended. We're banned immediately. Immediately. <laughs> Fuck you. Like this video. Nicholas Light, I always enjoy watching his content. Again, my final take here is that I don't think that this is double standards. I think that like, we've already seen Boogie get banned for this. We've seen a bunch of guys do a bunch of, you know, fucking booba streams and get you know still do it with the black bars and stuff at the end of the day he got banned because he watched redo of healers this explicit scene and even if he deleted it you know it stays on the records for it, it just because you unpublish or delete a vod doesn't mean it's gone forever and that's why he got banned regarding the the sexual topic you know the sexual content on twitch again i told you it, they don't give a shit about 
kids. Like they just care about what brings the viewers onto the platform because of all the different shit that's been happening in the past regarding uh, different platforms like Kick and Rumble getting bigger and the fact that people are saying fuck Twitch, blah, 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 blah stuff like that. Twitch, Twitch is looking pretty bad right now. So them making a decision like this is very strategic and they know what they're doing. And the girls that's doing it, right? The girls that are basically doing this shit, like, again, I think my mentality is like, hate the game not the player it's because of twitch's bullshit laws that they don't know how to even consistently enforce that's why this is happening these girls are all just taking advantage of the system that's allowing them to make infinite money and the kids let's get real 14 year olds even if these girls were not on twitch obviously it's a lot more accessible now they're gonna find porn if they want to find porn like come on like i i, I, I don't want to say more beyond that because i might get canceled but let's get serious Horny teenagers will find a way to watch porn if they want to watch porn. And the people here that's, you know, promoting their content, I think they're taking advantage of the system for easy money. And I don't blame them. I, I honestly, I don't want to say respect their hustle, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And if it pays the bills, it is what it is. And again, at the end of the day, blame the game, not the player. And one day, guys, I may do a cross-dressing stream. I may put on a maid outfit, maybe I'll buy some fucking titty implants, and we'll do an anime reaction, or I'll basically look like this in a maid outfit. We'll see one of these days, guys.